Next up on Week in Review. Ethan takes us to Hefala in New York. VCG falls for the new cordless worm drive. Buildings are leaning in San Francisco. That does not sound good. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And here's what happened this week in the world of Power Tools. Last week, we got a submission from Josh, the tool dude, who we've heard from before. But this time he had something a bit more unusual, and quite frankly, we couldn't turn away. Josh purchased a broken rigid octane impact driver on eBay for a whopping $32. Then he proceeded to tear it all apart and then fix it up like new. And he makes the whole thing look so simple, I feel like a schmuck from ever buying anything new at all. Yeah, but you don't know how to fix tools. I am, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting that part. Okay, well, never mind. If you're looking for a mechanical challenge and the deal of the century on your next impact, swing by Josh the Tool Dude on YouTube. I feel like recently that we feature Scott Brown almost every week. Do you have a problem with that? No. Yeah, nor do I. If you're not watching him every week, you're doing it wrong. This week he highlights five tools that he thought he would never use, but you know, he does. This includes a deceivingly simple razor saw, an air wedge for aligning door hinges, and some CA glue from Finnish Carpentry TV. Now, there are a couple others, but for that, you'll have to either travel to New Zealand to ask him, or I guess you could just watch Scott Brown Carpentry over on YouTube. We were fortunate to visit a whole bunch of new channels this week, one of which was Blake's Garage, where we found him just in time for a totally tubular two-minute tool time Tuesday, which I think is just grease monkey terms for Tuesday. Blake is busy swapping an S52 engine into an E30 BMW, and he's finding it far easier to do with the all-new Milwaukee M12 Fuel 3 8 inch Extended Reach Ratchet. Now, I love cars, and watching him drop a late 90s M3 motor into an E30 is more than enough to keep my attention. But then he goes and he adds the new Milwaukee Ratchet, and I discover that he shoots it all on the same cameras that we use, GH5. Blake, did we just become best friends? Yep. To learn more about my new best friend and the new Milwaukee Ratchet, be sure to visit Blake's Garage on YouTube. If you follow us on Instagram this week, you no doubt caught the release of the new Skillsaw Cordless Worm Drive, this beauty right here. We've had our own fun with the saw so far, and we found some insights from the likes of Tool Girls Garage down in Texas, Kruger Construction, Canadian Carpenter, and even the French Canadian Carpenter. Uh-huh. Oh, is there a less racist way we can celebrate the French? Cause he's, he's awesome, I just. I don't know why I let you out of your box each week. Back to the saw, on the very day it was announced, Vince from VCG, already notoriously a fanboy of the current Mag 77 corded worm drive, posted a spectacular review comparing the old cordless to the new hotness. Spoiler alert, the cordless was faster. If you're a fan of circular saws, worm drive or not, you owe it to yourself to visit VCG Construction on YouTube. Our last stop on the inner tubes takes us to Electrician U, where Dustin decided to list out the top tools that apprentice electricians need to have or die from electrocution. Whoa, all right, don't overdo it. In all seriousness, Dustin is still determined to make us all quit our jobs and learn to be sparkies, and I don't have a good reason not to. So, this time he reviews in great detail the 13 most important hand tools for you to keep in your belt. But for some reason, he completely ignores the best clothing to wear, which of course is a season two week in review t-shirt. So I'm gonna send him one so he can look just as good as he, Ele electricians, e Lex, uh, is there a verb for doing what electricians do? Like work? Sparking. If your job sucks, trust me it does, then it's time to train for the trades and you'll find your best start at Electrician U on YouTube. I would love to see you actually start an apprenticeship and do some actual work. I'm too sleepy. Oh man, well, we'll just have to do some actual work today with Rob Robillard. Hey, Rob, Sarah, just wanted to share with you a quirky tip that I do on a lot of my remodels. The end of the job at the remodeling, the paint is, is typically the last thing, that and punch lists. Well, when we get to the paint, I always try to have the painter write the name of the color of the paint on the back of a light switch in the room that they painted so that if the client ever needs to get back and look, they can tell you, they can tell exactly what paint that was and what paint color. I get calls all the time from past clients. Hey, what was the paint color we did the living room in? I don't know. Now I just tell them to pull the light plate off and look on the back. It's a great tip. It's something you could do at home. It's something that you guys could do on your job site um, yourself. It's just a neat little thing and uh, I find it super useful. Have a great day, guys. That's genius. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. 
All right, it's time again to grab your tools, head to the garage, open the YouTube app on your phones, and watch people work. It's time for a make or break. Johnny Builds posted a video where he made a DIY bookcase with limited tools. So if you are just starting out and need a project that does not require a shop for full of tools, this is perfect. He used both metal and wood to make the bookshelf, which gives it a fun industrial feel. You can find Johnny Builds on Instagram and over on YouTube. Medestrial Maker shared his modern concrete coffee table with a maple rhombus base. Mike walks you through the process of the build, including what went well, what went wrong, and what air you'll never see again. This is a really cool piece that would look perfect in any living room, and you can find Mike at Medestrial Maker on YouTube. Anne of All Trades made a pizza peel this week using the plans from Woodsmith. She immediately made alterations to accommodate her specific pizza oven. Now, she used a lot of hand tools for this, but she also shows you how you can get the same outcome with power tools. Now, if this perfect spoke shave curl inspires you like it does me, you need to go follow Anne of Trades over on YouTube. That's it for this week's Make or Break. If your favorite maker builds something that you would like to have on the show, you can email me at projects at coptool.com. It's time again for Construction News, brought to you by Construction Junkie. Now, have you ever heard of the Millennium Tower in San Francisco? No. It's a luxury high-rise that was erected in 2009, and ever since, it's been slowly sinking and tilting. And for those of you who know very little about high-rises, neither of those things are good. Since this was first discovered, dozens of lawyers have been filing lawsuits because, you know, lawyers gonna law, am I right? And anyways, uh, there's finally some good news for the Leaning Tower of Pineapple Pizza. A new $100 million plan was just approved that will add 52 piles driven 250 feet into the ground, which should finally hit bedrock. The building is currently leaning 17 inches to the northwest which technically means these fixes are not yet mandatory, but I'm sure the building next to it is still happy it's happening. It's no secret that the construction workforce is currently dominated by men, but women are slowly increasing their numbers in recent years as gender barriers continue to be knocked down. With construction jobs expected to continue to grow over the next few years, women will clearly play a significant role in filling job openings. Now, Skanska, bless you. It's not a sneeze, it's actually an enormous construction company who's working with several vest manufacturers to produce new PPE equipment specifically for women. Some of the key features of a new series of vests include a tapered waist, several front pockets, breathable mesh material on the back, and an interior pocket to accommodate larger electronic equipment. Now, Skanska is not only giving this new tailor-made PPE to their own employees, but they will also make them available for purchase to anyone outside of the company nationwide. It's an honorable move to not only help your interior workforce, but help to better the industry overall. Thanks, Sneeze Company! For more on these stories and all your construction industry news, visit constructionjunkie.com. Before we swing over to Instagram, we have a special treat for you this week. Recently, Ethan Abramson from The Build with Ethan decided to visit the Hefala showroom in New York to see some of their beautiful and functional hardware. And he invited us to come along with him. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Rob. Hey, Sarah. I'm here at the Hefala showroom in New York with John, and we're taking a look at some of the great stuff they have going on here. Just take a look at this right here. This is our co-planer system. One door slides over the other. It's got a nice soft close on it. It just saves you a lot of radius and hinge door. That's a great space saving device. What do we got over here? Ah, uh, this is where you have it. Just a, just a vase, just a... Uh... <gasps> oh, what's, what's oh, going on? That's where the good stuff is. That is where you hide the good stuff, or for you guys, where you might want to hide Rob when he won't stop talking. I do not Shh. talk to... The tour. All right, and now we're moving over here. So this really caught my eye because we do a lot of shelves that need to be movable, but people also want to put lights in them. So for something like this, there's lights in it and it's removable. Look at that. So what's the technology here? Your contact is here. Your lights are integrated into the shelf. Notice no wires. So this shelf can literally be moved anywhere on the scope of your cabinet. You just put it back in and hits the contact strip here and bingo, you got your lights again. All right, there we go. And light again. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming by. All right. 
Rob, Sarah, I know that your show hinges on showing all the industry news, so I don't want to hardware your audience out by showing you too much of this stuff. So I'm just going to drawer slide it back to you in the studio, and you can take it from there. Good lord, I thought I was bad. Thanks, Ethan. Sorry, what, what was that wrong? What was that? I'm, I'm, being, I'm being too loud. You need me to be quieter at the end? Oh, you want the soft close. I got you. No problem. See you next time, guys. <laughs> at this point, I don't know if I even want to thank him for that. But I will. Thanks, Ethan. Now let's head back to Instagram. This week, we're going to hit a few new favorites we haven't featured before, starting with Ramon Artful, who shared a few tips for building better jigs using an automatic punch to mark his holes. Zach's Woodwork showed off his clever new lumber rack inspired by none other than Bob from I Like To Make Stuff, using conduit to customize his new rack to his specific needs. And finally, Medverk used some heavy equipment to show off his yo-yo tricks. First guy ever to goof around in a piece of heavy equipment. Yeah, I doubt that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us this week. Oh, we have a showcase this week, so we do. We need to tell so them how they can win a sweet Metabo drill. They can, and not just any Metabo drill. This week we're featuring the KHEV 540BL. This is a gigantic beast of an SDS Max combination hammer. So if you want a chance to own one for yourself, be sure to watch our showcase, which we'll link below. Yes, yeah, so you can win one of these through our showcase, but if you don't win, you can buy them at Ohio Power Tool, and Ohio Power Tool has some Metabo specials going on right now, don't what they? A very nice segue, Sarah. Yeah, thank you. Good job. <laughs> So yeah, right now uh, at Ohio Power Tool, uh, they have a special going on where you can get a free 18 volt LTX SDS Plus cordless hammer with a HEPA vac attached to it for free when you purchase a qualifying Metabo kit. So be sure to head over to ohiopowertool.com this weekend. Yeah, thank you Ohio Power Tool and Metabo for sponsoring this week's show. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next week.